the whole magic of that team in that era of olds, uh, I think you know, it was between Stewart and Clark with their, they were the, the witches over the pot, um, but they put in the right ingredients and I mean we had, as far as talent, we had the top talented guys. It was a special, definitely a special time. Bob was, you know, he was just a mastermind behind the scenes as far as bringing in the right guys, seeing what voids needed to be filled. We could score goals, but then uh, we had some toughness as well. So we had a good mi mix on the team and good defensively and we had good goaltending. And like I said, our, our top end players were, they were good. Is no matter where you're at in the depth chart, everyone had the same rules. You had a job to do and, and it was expected you did it. And when you didn't do it, you, know, you were held to a, the same level as somebody who might score 50, but if they didn't score 50, they had, they had to answer too. We're competitive. Uh, within the game but not competitive and with, within the room. I think in the top 10 in scoring, we probably had the top scoring defensemen. We had four or five guys in, in that top 10. And then we had two lines that could absolutely out muscle, out man, out fight, whatever it needed, uh, any other team. And, and, and Chris really knew what line needed to go out at what given time. He brought in Chris Stewart. Stewart was a young coach. Um, kind of his first real big gig, I think, coaching. But he took control of the team and uh, they had a plan to, have, to host the Centennial Cup early and they built a team to do it. I think our record was 72, eight and two that year. So we knew we were something. It was nice to play in front of thousands of people and um, it was loud, it was exciting and, um, and you know, winning anywhere is great, but winning in your, in your hometown when you're hosting and you're, and the expectation was high for us too, certainly internally and then nationally to, to perform. We got the job done and we were, we were Centennial Cup champions and that was, it was a great feeling. So much of, of what we had as far as chemistry, as far as culture, that came from the top down. We had a good team and uh, they got the most out of us for sure. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the Alberta Sports Hall of Fame 2023 inductee, the 1991-1994 Olds Grizzlies.